Today I modified my doll Lila. This is her right here. Her name is Ren and it has also been Savannah. And at first I had her styled like this. She's just in her stock outfit. I grabbed a bow from my stash of clothes and her original uh, eye chips. I rewigged her into this, this frilly kind of fancy little girlish wig. It has these ringlets at the in in the front and kind of like a short bob in the back with some pigtails and I just put a bow on her and then I made these eye chips quite a long time ago probably two or three years ago I was just kind of playing around with the idea of having her have white eyes because I thought that looked really creepy I do like her stock wig eye chips but she just seemed like she was lacking a little bit of dimension and interest to me. I have also two witches and a vampire in my stash as well as some dolls that are not creepy. And so I just wanted her to stand out from the others. So I uh, also tried these eye chips and this looks a little funny because I'm just setting the eye chips on top of her just to get a sense, just on top of her open eyes, just to get a sense of what it would look like. So I took a couple photos of that because it was hard for me to imagine it in real life. And so I went with the chips that I made. Now I don't love these chips. They're a little weird. I just used alcohol markers and drew a circle and faded it from white to gray, but I didn't love my my blending job. I also enhanced her eyelashes, so I just cut off little bits of well not little bits, but I cut off two chunks of of an eyelash and put like a, a set of false eyelashes and put them in there. And there you see how she looks with her eye chips in. They actually look quite nice. You can't quite notice the flaws once they're in her head. And so I'm I'm happy about that. There she is at various different stages. So now she's ready to go and get some photos taken. So I grabbed a couple of props, including this gray netting that I think looks kind of just creepy in the background of photos. And these are some of the photos that I took of her. Uh, first, I started by uh, just standing her in a plain pose. I really wanted to see how she looks with, I love her stock outfit. I love, it's missing, like I don't have the, the coat and a few of the things on it, I think, or her, or her bonnet. And then I have her just kind of like looking at her hair. I imagine her thinking like, ugh, my hair is so gross or something. I, I want her to feel like she's been kind of like, lost track of time since she she's a ghost right so I kind of feel like she's a little confused about what's happened why is she here and what is she doing I want her to be kind of like dazed and confused and I want you to feel kind of sorry for her um it, it, she's kind of has this quiet strength but she I also want her to to seem a little sad and so uh, so that's that's the character. I changed her character quite a bit as opposed to the spoiled brat that I had her when she her name was Savannah. So I'm going to come back and talk to you now. Hi guys, I'm back with my Dal Lila modifications all in place. I just finished a photo shoot with her and I had a lot of fun with it. She is fierce. I love her. Ah, oh, man, I love these pull up dolls. This is like the best hobby ever. I love this stuff. So I just finished a photo shoot with her and it wasn't towards the end of the photo shoot that I realized I really like her with her hair down in her face like this. Basically I want her to look like kind of like she crawled out of a sewer or has been like wandering around in the woods or in like not in the woods actually like in the city like in the in the alleys and I don't know I want her to be I want you I want you to feel sorry for her not be scared of her um, and yeah I just want her to look kind of ah uh, I don't know creepy but sad at the same time and so I think having her hair down in her eyes like this really adds to the look I wish I had done this for all of the photos but her if in the photos I have her hair up kind of like really wild and crazy which is also really fun it's nice to have the two looks but the next time I do a shoot with her I'm definitely gonna put her hair down and like really kind of mangy looking and yeah 
Oh, uh, I love her so much. Okay, I get like this every time I make a doll, every time I make modifications to a doll. I just paired her up with this little uh, stuffy that was in my stash. This is from another pull-up, I don't know which. It's not a pull-up that I have, or maybe a doll or something. So thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos from me because I'm definitely hooked again. I'm gonna be doing this a lot more often. So take care and have a great dolly week. Bye.